of God speaking about the cross earlier on. Now, so too, Jesus Christ must be lifted up. In other words, the cross, so that if we believe in him, we can have eternal life. You see, out there in the wilderness, the children of Israel complained and murmured. And they sinned against God. And God sent fiery serpents to bite them. Whoever was bitten by these snakes would die. Many died in a very short time. The poison of these serpents was worse than the mamba. And they died because of their sin. And they cried out. Moses also cried out to God. And God then said, Moses, make a bronze serpent. Then lift it up. This bronze serpent. That whoever, sees it, that whoever sees it would live. There were corpses everywhere. Some with limbs swollen up. Some were in the process of dying weak and paralyzed. And when the serpent was lifted up, as weak as that person might be, perhaps getting help from somebody else to turn his head, to look towards the serpent, he would live. Miraculously, the moment a person's eyes locked onto that serpent, the person would, would be healed, the poison would lose its power. So too, that is why Jesus had to be lifted up. There are many different serpents in this world killing people. Just think of drugs, how many have already died. That poison has entered in. Some are emaciated. Some because of prostitution, sexual immorality. Even children. Even children being ruined by the lusts of the flesh. Just 12 years old. Or 13 years. Or 13. Already thinking of the opposite sex or of marriage. Seeking 
boys or the opposite sex. And they have this drive within them. With boys exactly the same. Even children. Even children. You've achieved nothing in life. You have nothing, no cows to pay the dowry with. You don't even have a little chicken. You girls are too cheap. You are just... You cheapen yourselves and you infatuated with a boy who has nothing to show you and you can see for yourself he has nothing and yet you go for him. And you're driven. By youthful lust. And you are lying out there in the desert as a corpse, having been bitten by the serpent of lust. Maybe you've got AIDS or other diseases as a result of sin. There are a great variety of fiery serpents today. Maybe it's hatred. Ulaga, anger, ikubu, grudges, abantu babulalane, murder. I can beg a wuti sekunjani. Just look M-sabi. at how things are now in this world. Benga kashelo mfoe tu. Why sengela ngompa na omna ne gangaka. My brother visited me and told me about a little boy. A little boy who no longer has eyes. Was mutilated, his genitals mutilated. But still alive there in hospital. When you're bitten by it, you feel like you're Serpents like these, you are like a wild beast of the, of the felt. And if you get bitten by such serpents, you will die whether you want to or not. If you don't believe in Jesus. And Jesus becomes number one to you. Another person I spoke to. Uma ufunu uba umuntu ohambi sana nati ufanelu kutu itele tabati spambansaku uche sabe ngokala nombu sanku nungkulu kube into yokalo ifunayo ngapante kwa kwa loku kege gudu I uguti unkoskaza be ukaza. 
Hai ukutinga ne zako, sibe ngukan. Ute swati gebe umfundi wam. I said to him, if you want to go along with us, then you need to know what it is to deny yourself, that Jesus is the very first one, that you seek first the kingdom of God, and then all these other things will, God will bring, not that your wife is first or your children are first, but that Jesus is number one to you. Let everyone examine himself to see whether that is so. If not, you'll be like that boy whose eyes have been taken out from him. There are those people who are busy mutilating other people, taking out their eyes. It's been a practice for a long time and it still happens today. Dr. Albi also told me that he has met up with such things a long time ago how he saw such things personally. You see, if you have anything to do with the occult, with spiritism, with worshipping the ancestral spirits, all these fiery serpents get hold of you. So Jesus so Jesus says, just as the serpent, the bronze serpent was lifted up and everyone who looked was healed, you can be certain that you will definitely be healed. You will be, if you put your faith in Jesus, you will definitely be born again. So Jesus teaches this lesson, this unexpected lesson to Nicodemus, that if a person um, is born again, that's the only way. La Nazis Pamban. Now here you see a cross on the pulpit. And the child of God said earlier that it consists of two planks. Two pieces of wood. Now we are to gaze upon Jesus on the cross. This cross which symbolizes the sin where that's why Jesus became sin on the cross and as you look to him on the cross you are healed from whatever sin may be troubling you how marvelous no 
sebenzi sita kamiswa enenhlamba ethuka kodwa uma ihlanganisa no Jesu uzalwe kabusha umbona engasaphuzi ubona inhlambi siphelile engasasebenzi eh Sebenzisi leyo ndabe yenza na lezo zinto abe isebenzisa uzelwe kabusha. That the sinner who looks to Jesus, trusting him, he who is on the cross for him, that that person, even if he was a drunkard, or a person who would swear, or use different, was bound by different things, his drunkenness comes to an end, for he is born again. He no longer swears. His life is turned around. He's born again. Not just it's not by dressing in certain clothing or, or joining a certain church or joining the church choir. You must be born again. Only that will change you. We are born and we are born and we are Regeneration. In English we can say it's not by self-reformation but by revelation. It is by being born again. If you try and save yourself you will definitely go back to your sins again. I would usuge uzi whitewash, utenge umuti wogu penda penda izi nzu zibe mshope na mache apendo apa mshope kotwa uzalwe kabu usha uzu be mshope nga pagati. It doesn't help that you buy some whitewash and try and paint the stones and make it look white. Only if you are born again are you washed to be white inside. So Jesus speaks to Nicodemus these profound things. Saying you must be born again. You cannot try and change that. Don't say, well, I gave myself over. If, it, if you were not regenerated, born again. Regenerated by the water of the word and the spirit of God, not a single person can enter into heaven without that happening. <clears throat> so ask yourself, are you really born again? So that the difference is noticeable. People can say, you used to be a drunkard, you are no longer. You used to swear, you used to do these things, but you don't do them anymore, you changed. You might be a seeker after money. Money will not help you enter into heaven. He was highly respected, the Nicodemus. He was looked, looked up to by everyone. 
kodwa engaqondu ukuthi kungenwa kanjani ezulwini and yet not understanding how to enter into heaven aike well nangu nikodem here is this nicodemus ophakeme lifted up kodwa uyadinga umkhululi but he needs a redeemer udinga umsindisi he needs a savior awaz kuyisindisa wena noma ngathikeke ngiphinde uzophinda you cannot save yourself by promising i won't do it again for you will do it again you must be born anew you won't find a chicken wanting to swim in water or its chicks wanting to go into the water they would drown kodwa idada liya emanzini liyangena namachwane asuke angene zedada but the duck and its ducklings instinctively want to go into the water ngoba yazalwa idada for it was born a duck uma uzelwe inkuku uyoba inkuku if you born a chicken you remain a chicken uma uzelwe inyama uzoba into yenyama if you born of the flesh you will remain a thing of the flesh kodwa uma uzelwe ngokomoya but if you born of the spirit uzolalela moya you will listen to the spirit ngekuphikisana nawe akudingi nokuthi umuntu asho kuwe hayi ungakwenzi lokho hlukana nalokho akufanele umuntu okholwayo umuntu wenyama lo udinga ukutshelwa kodwa ozelwe ngunkulunkulu uzizwela yena noma uthu uyamfaka esonweni akafuni enze into engafanele akafuni you won't fight against the spirit you won't have to be told by somebody else no you shouldn't do this this is not appropriate for a christian you will want to do the right thing kunjalo ke umuntu ozelwe kabusha and so it is with the person who is born again no mene ngane ezisezweni ezingahambi ngendlela kaNkulunkulu uma elukhuzanazo ezwana nazo kukhomba ukuthi naye ke akakatholi insindiso kahle if a parent is uniting himself with his children who are still in the world following the things of the world that parent shows that he is not really born again kusho ukuthi kufanele umuntu asindiswe azalwe kabusha yanibuza ke nina nonke enhlelila nizelwe kabusha na must be saved must be born anew and i ask every one of you here are you born again ngambuzo munye ngathushatile wathi yebo I asked somebody are you married the person said yes Ngithi wena uyamlandela uJesu I asked are you following Jesus what do you have the person said yes Ngathi ungakho uyamlandela uJesu I asked is your wife following Jesus he said yes Uhlangene nawe is together with you what he see in the old world person said we are united as one no mangi sholento nayo usholo nalapha ngiya khona uya khona kodwa lo mfazo ngakwenzi lokho akazelwe uyinke nyama unako kwenyama we are united and we follow in the same way following the lord and we are decided together but a wife who is not united with her husband like that 
is simply following the flesh, is a thing of the flesh. Koto uma uzelwe ngokwa pezulu nomu mundu eti ufake sonweni tati nkuku uifake manzini izo zamu puma but if you're born from above, you will want to do the right thing. Nobody will force you, can force you into sin. Like a chicken, if you try and put it into water, it will desperately try and get out of that water. That is a mystery, and yet it is revealed, is it not? If a child is born, that child lives. And is alive. And so too, if you are born spiritually again, you will live spiritually. Aige, Kwangati loko ujesu aikwenzi e aikshi loko nikotemu anga unga uzwa nawe. May what Jesus said to Nicodemus be something that is heard by you too. Uikonde linda. And that you would understand this mystery. I don't think Nicodemus took this lightly. For when Jesus was crucified, Jerusalem, I elimbiwe pansi, kotwa. There was a certain beautiful grave, a sepulchre that was dug out like a cave into the hillside. Only the rich people of the day could afford such tombs. O Joseph was a Arimathea. Joseph of Arimathea took Jesus out of, uh, as they took him down from the cross. And Nicodemus came and assisted Joseph of Arimathea and also anointed him putting him into their grave. Which shows us that Nicodemus was touched to such an extent that he never forgot it and remembered this man is a righteous man. Lapo Ujosefa Etata istumbu siga Jesu wat putu mu nikotemu wamlegelela wabalapo be u Jesu bemko bemkoba bemfake etu etu neli. So when Joseph of Arimathea took Jesus down, Nicodemus was right there assisting and embalming him to put into the grave. Nicodemus never forgot Jesus. There was a certain council in Israel called the Sanhedrin. Nicodemus being a member of it. And when it was discussed regarding crucifying Jesus, 
Nicodemus stood up in front of everyone. Saying, Allah. Does our law permit a person to be condemned without the person having the right to defend himself? And the others scoffed saying, oh, so you're one of the Galileans too. Bambuka. They mocked. For he had said, How can you condemn him without having heard from him? But there are certain brainless people like those who said, Oh, so you are from Galilee too, instead of listening carefully to what Nicodemus said. For they are the ones who said, Where have you ever heard of a prophet coming from Galilee? What are you also from Galilee? But in his heart he knew. That for Nicodemus had said, We know that you are from God, for no one can do the things you do unless he is sent by God. Hi, Sangyatrina. Well, I'm coming to an end. It is getting late. But before we part, tell me, are you born again? Can other people testify honestly that you are changed, you are born anew? Are you thoroughly changed so that your husband can testify that his wife has changed? Now when daughter in Koska Zikwazu Fagaza Utin Dota Yami is Elwegabusha, so Mundomusha, Okdala Mzulile, Kong Segugusha. And you husband, can your wife testify of you that you are truly born again? You are so changed that you are a new creature. All things have passed away. You are brand new. Don't, don't try and list your righteous deeds and that you're a member of the choir and you are so religious. Nicodemus was all that and more. And better than you. But he had to be born again. If you're not born again, let this day be the day of your birth. You know how old you are. You know you you know your exact date of birth. When you were born as a person in the flesh, 
But being born again, the second birth, the spiritual birth, you need to know that for your date of being born again spiritually is more important than your birthday. Let's bow our heads and pray.